bow and you get two, you get five trees. Might be 800 pounds. Okay. Now he'll pull away from me to a safe spot to where I can go ahead and start loading another truck. So it gets him out of my way to a safe spot because this is where the danger zone is. We don't want no, no guys on the ground right here around me at all. This is where you get killed at. Alright, do a load of uh, pine pulp wood. <laughs> This will be going to international paper. We have a mill that's west of Columbus. Formerly a warehouser mill. They built that mill, they started on it about in the early 80s, probably about 80. When they when they built that mill or started working on it, they like got up and running. It took them a little bit to build it and got up and running there. It was a uh, it still is a uh, big deal. Our Columbus been a mainstay there for a long long time. The warehouser had it. They sold part of it to Dom Tar several years ago and then that part got shut down so you had warehouser and dom tar on the same property and the dom tar part got shut down some people got absorbed back in the warehouse or some lost their jobs some had to find jobs other where elsewhere and they completely demoed that whole dom tar side of things and then, uh, gosh, it might have been 2016 or maybe 2017. I can't remember. I've been doing this mess alone now. Years run together. Warehouse are sold to uh, what they had left. IP International Paper. They've also got a. We had a. Uh, I think they called it a modified fiber mill or cellulose fiber or something like that. It was out away from the warehouse or the paper mill in a different location. It was still in Columbus though. They made the uh, like the diaper type fluff and things like that. There, well they still do. And it when IP bought warehouse out it that went with IP also. Always amazed me the amount of change that I've seen over the years in the in the logging world. Anna Kate was uh, we were talking there yesterday, and she mentioned the uh, lady's name. And her husband used to run the chip mill out at out at Columbus. We used to have a they demoed it now too. It was a used to be James River. And they bought hardwood pulpwood there for, for years. And when Anna Kate mentioned that, that lady's name, then that her husband's name, you know, it made it pop in my mind. Think about him. You know, he ran that he ran that mill out there for for years. They opened that thing back in the 80s, also probably 86, 87, I guess. Chipped out there on the island. And they chipped it, put it on a barge. It wasn't no meal or anything. It just chipped. It was all. On. And they still had it. Uh, they still it. It swapped like companies that they chipped for. It was uh, James River, and then the, the final one was a uh, GP. They had a location there, but the guy still the same guy still ran it all. And that was all the way back up into, uh, they were still there 
2013. They hadn't really chipped a whole lot, so it's been uh, nine years since they've done it. Since they, they, it's all been, like I said, it's all been demoed now. It's not even there anymore. But right there beside Kior, they were going to do the chipping from Kior, the biofuel plant. It was, uh, they didn't make it. Lots of change over the years in the forestry business. It's been a lot of change for property owners too, man. I remember but lots of years property owners really cashed in on timber serious money. Uh, talking about mega money. The 90s were good. Early 2000s were good. I mean, it's still good now, but it just won't. It, it just the prices just won't get up to what I've seen them at in the past. And it's, and it's all about supply and demand. You know what I mean? That that's what makes the world go around. That's with with anything, supply and demand. And we have a glut of pine. These crazy people think we're gonna cut all the wood down. They have lost their ever-loving mind. We, they, there's more wood. That's the problem. That's the reason why the prices stay like they do because there's so much dead gum raw material out there available that they only have to pay what it takes to get it across the scales, and they're only gonna pay as minimum as they got to. And that's the way they make money. Way to shareholders, stockholders, and all of them make it. We about to get him loaded. There's a lot of trees on this stuff, on this wood here. I just grab as much as I can of the gravel pull each time and go up on the trailer, just as much as I can possibly get let it lay kind of sift it around a little bit and get it to get it to lay pretty decent for me and then go get another gravel pool when they don't get thin. They grow up this is the owl. Alright. He's low. Then he'll pull away from me to a safe spot to where I can go ahead and start loading another truck. So it gets him out of my way to a safe spot because this is where the danger zone is. We don't want nobody, no guys on the ground right here around me at all. This is where you get killed at. Also allows that load to settle. If you drive right up to another safe spot up there, another old loading deck up the road up there, say a quarter mile, it allows those trees to settle on that load. And then when it binds it down, it's good because if you bind it right here by me and you drive 10 feet, your cables or straps or whatever you got on it are gonna be loose as a goose. So I'm gonna throw a load of uh, pine chip and saw on this one. We'll get this and go on too. All right, right there. You see all the purple flowers <laughs> over my shoulder coming up. You can tell springtime is coming on along. We're not, the pollen hadn't started yet here. We're, we're behind a good bit. We've had some cooler weather, but I think it looks like it's in these trees now. I can see the, I can, up there in the pines, I can see the little yellow pods popping out. Today's the first time I noticed them. So, well, everything will be covered in, uh, in the yellow dust. But anyhow, I've been messing with the 4K. Uh, I've got it where I can process it really fast. It, it renders and saves really quick. And now that I've got fiber internet, like the yesterday's video, I think it was nine minutes long. It uploaded in just like, it was under 10 seconds. I mean, it was just, 
insanely fast how quick it uploaded so uh we got a bunch of rain yesterday uh evening it didn't start till on into the afternoon we got some during the day and then uh in the afternoon and last night we ended up getting a pretty good bit of rain so uh logging crew didn't log today and uh, i'm not doing any tree work today went turkey hunting this morning killed a turkey uh this morning at a uh a 10 inch beard i got some video footage from that i'll share later on but uh so uh i'm gonna get this up and then and this whole video is in 4k also and then uh probably i may go uh fishing here in just a little bit and see what i can catch i'm not sure i may go in the boat i'm not sure i go in a kayak i want to go to the river but River's probably going to be janked up pretty good after that rain we had last night. and But we'll see. I don't know. I'll, I'll just decide here in a little bit what I'm going to do and and uh, run with it that way. But uh, hope y'all have a good day. Uh, we'll catch y'all later. Later, Davis.